had a uh, I had a seagull, a seagull, in my work van once. It hit right at the corner of my windshield, fuck, and made such a thud, loud fucking noise. I had to be doing about seventy. It was way out east on the expressway, Is way a, the fuck out east. They always say it's almost impossible to hit a bird, though. Whoa, you, you hear that your you. whole life. I this, was in a, I was in a yeah. van uh, with uh, Ziggy, actually. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we were driving in Manhattan, crossing town, and uh, some, like, four or five pigeons had been flying across the street. And uh, the last one that was, you know, kind of tagging behind a little bit huh. as we're getting close to it. Because, like, whoever hits the bird, like, sometimes it gets close. And like, oh, yeah, you can never hit it. And I'm like, man, I, I really think we're going to hit this bird. And then sure enough, it was just, yeah. damn. <laughs> I had to get out and, like, you know, make sure it wasn't, like, stuck to the grill. <laughs> we totally hit the bird. It was awesome. This thing left a, uh, like, powder on my windshield about five times the size of the bird. Like, every bit of dust that was in his feathers just got knocked the fuck right Jesus. out of him and ended up on the windshield. No blood or anything. The thing was dead. You know, flew right. I don't over think the birds have a lot of blood. They don't seem to have a lot of no, blood. not a lot of blood in them. I guess they, they seem like they're really dehydrated. A yeah, little skinny bones. Oh, look and at that stupid beak. How much water do you think you could drink? Yeah, they got to be light. Hydrated. They fly. Uh, <laughs> I hit a bird one time. It's actually, Did you? and Kenny hit a bird. Yeah. I just remembered, and it, the damn thing fought with his fist. <laughs> You can drink. Yeah. They got to be light. Hydrated. They fly. Uh, <laughs> I hit a bird one time. It's actually, Did you? and Kenny hit yeah. a bird. I just remembered, and it, the damn thing fu- with his fist. Yeah, <laughs> was looking a, at him in a bar. Thought it was a black person. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it was a crow. <laughs> I saw. I almost saw Kenny show some emotion when we hit a pigeon on the way home, and really? this thing fucking exploded. He could tell the story. I don't know if he's fucking here right came now. Came apart, but he almost like. Show some emotion. Kenny, remember the pigeon? What happened? <laughs> Look, it happened, it, Kenny. It landed on him because I thought he was a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours later, he addressed it. You know, next Wednesday at the Stress Factory, Jimmy's ah, doing a show ah, with Adam and George. Really? And Florentine. Florentine. Our ticket sales good? We need to sell tickets, people, so don't please don't embarrass me. Oh, my God. It's going to be a great comedy show. Come see the show with Jimmy and Otto and George, Florentine, and many others. 732-545-4242. Or Marley Stress Factory appearance this year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this one's great. Stress Factory, New Brunswick, oh, New Jersey. Oh, 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 the picture that fucking... Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, that thing is dead. That fucking bird. This happened a few times, right? Yeah. What? The Just killed him. Look at the pigeon's like, oh, man, what the fuck? The best part of that clip, we'll have to, like, tweet kept it, it so play. people can see it today. Uh, it, look at, play it again. The umpire loses his fucking mind because he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> oh, the bird is still alive, too. Watch, Watch the yeah. umpire. He doesn't know <laughs> what the fuck. I think the umpire got hit by the ball. Oh, the bird it? is flopping around. Didn't the big unit hit one, too, once? Yes. Yeah, the big unit hit one. Do we have that Randy Johnson one? Because yeah, I remember seeing a different clip where I think like a bird pretty much explodes. Winfield. Yeah, well, David Winfield throwing one in from the outfield. <laughs> yeah. He threw the bird. Oh, hit a bird with throwing a ball? But uh-huh. Randy Johnson fucking nailed a bird, that, too, really good. The Randy Johnson one, I think it exploded. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. I have the tissues again? Uh, oh, my nose is running. Here you Where's go. Where's it going? <laughs> I got a great joke. I bet you do, Chip. I hit a bird one time. Because I misunderstood what he said while we were playing poker. How <laughs> did <laughs> you hit him? Blackjack, I mean. You were angry. No, I mean I hit him and gave him an extra card. Oh! <laughs> you said poker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that the Randy Johnson one? Yeah. yeah that oh, Randy explodes. Johnson fucking disintegrated that thing. Why did the guy have to add fucking special effects? I know. You don't need special effects. It's impressive just God. watching the bird explode. There is nothing left of that bird. Look at the carcass just kind of, he blew all the feathers off of that bird with that pitch. This is an instance where a cartoon happened in real life. Yes. Yes. That was cartoon physics happening in real life. That's a 90-mile-an-hour <laughs> fastball. I feathers have, flew off I the bird. I had my feathers numbered for just <laughs> such an emergency. <laughs> That's good. I like that. I say, I say. I say, I say. <laughs> they still play those old-school cartoons somewhere? Damn. Uh, I know, yeah. I know. They edit the That's shit out of them. I remember that. Yeah. But... Wow. Yeah, they knocked the feathers off. Of... How many God times do they have damn. to show it? I like the now fact the that birds the birds got to stand up and go. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Say and something the... Flintstone-ish. <laughs>
the bird rolls off. It just, it, it, the, yeah, yeah. The feathers stop and the bird keeps going. The bird is dead before it hits the ground. It's completely plucked. Yeah. <laughs> it hit the ground completely plucked. Like, the only thing better than that is if you actually ran through a door and left your outline there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's cartoon. <laughs> Do you know how much other birds must laugh when they see this? <laughs> and what an asshole that one is? Yes. Of all the space there is in a stadium. Yeah, you run right in front of a 90-mile-an-hour fastball. Dude, there's ball. so much space for a bird <laughs> in a stadium. You can go anywhere in the air. And he flies two feet above. What a cunt. Oh, uh, shit. Let's see if the Winfield one is there. Oh, yeah. Winfield, yeah. He, uh, what was that one? Outfield? Yeah, he was throwing oh, that slow the motion. Oh, damn. That's a slow motion shot with a freeze frame of uh, Randy Johnson. Um, God damn. It's just a puff. A little puff. It's called Baseball versus Bird Fail on YouTube. Dave Winfield and the Seagull. Who's that? <laughs> mm -mm, that might be. No. There was a seagull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that one? Well, I think it's just a fan. Him so just talking it's a, about it. Yeah, it's, it's maybe they'll maybe show, they the, show clip. the clip in it. Hopefully. Maybe they sh maybe they showed a clip. Do the bit. <laughs> Remembering August fourth, nineteen eighty three. What is it to remember, really? To hit a Why bird. do you have to remember it? I know. It's... I remember. We were at the game. You know, I don't. I don't think anything was meant to be intentional. I think uh, it was obviously basically uh, intentionally something just happened. It was an it's accident. Seagull. Well, they wanted. They were not uh, happy with Winfield, that, the bird uh, lovers. I know, right? Uh, was gone. Why would, what, like, why would, why could they not be? All I saw is. Oh my God! Uh, play the fucking <laughs> clip. <laughs> They're talking about this like it's a fucking Olympic moment. Right. The body actually had Where's to be Bob Costas? To the uh, Toronto police had ordered that uh, whatever I do is once that bird comes off there that I I bring it back and they took it from there. And I was in shock that Toronto. A, the this can't be real. Is this a spoof? Maybe there's no footage of it. Of is this a spoof? Arresting, uh, one of the great stars of the Yankees for apparently purposely killing a seagull. You think these guys are sick um, of yeah, I talking heard he about the incident? All the charges. It was a great bizarre incident, but it proves one thing: in life, a seagull; in death, and forevermore, a blue jay. We should have known. The video only has a thousand views. It's yeah, been, yeah. Uh, it sucks an ass. It's been out there since '83. This, this video fucking <laughs> <laughs> stinks. That was that could the be the biggest worst, waste of time. That could be the worst I've YouTube ever clip ever. Bunch of dumb Canadians <laughs> right. fucking reminiscing. <laughs> what happened, about. fucking faggots? You think every, everywhere that guy goes, they ask him about the seagull? Oh, he brings, <laughs> he brings it up. Oh, yeah. he brings it up. You think he's that I guy? Am. You know who I am. Let me tell you who I am. <laughs> right. I hate those fucking people. Oh, I'm a seagull guy. No, who are you? Well, you remember that thing that happened in the news 25 years ago? No, we don't. That people forgot about two days later? Well, I'm going to tell you about it. Because that's my claim to it? fame. Well, this is just uh... Sports Center's top 10 bird moments. Top 10 bird moments? <laughs> They're all Mark Fidrich. Who knew they were? <laughs> who knew? What is that? Uh, there was a bird in his glove or something. Huh? No, come on. Oh, NASCAR. Oh. That's not good. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it fucking thing came apart. The guy's pissed that his car's dead. <laughs> yeah, he hit I love a, it. a little tennis. Yeah, he hit a bird flying across. Uh, does he feel all bad? He's praying. He kneels and prays. What a he crossed dork. Himself. What a dork. I hope a he tennis was, player hit I hope he was bird. joking. You now think he this was is Dave Winfield. They, they just don't, don't have footage of the How Dave Winfield. How do they Winfield? not have footage of that? That's got to be somewhere. You know, these days there's eighteen thousand fucking angles of st something. Mm -hmm. Football. Oh. The fucking bird wanted to get in involved in the fucking scrimmage. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Nah. Oh well, right. no, it's just right. a pigeon on the field. This is. So this is such who gives a shit. I was walking with my girlfriend. There was pigeons walking. I'm like, you know how mad people would be if I just walked over and loudly kicked it? <laughs> oh, they would not like that at all. <laughs> Let's go. Now it's just a pigeon. It's not a yeah. top ten moment. It's a bird. No, it's the bird flying around. Let's go kick pigeons today. I'd love to. They're little fat bodies. Oh. <laughs> Teach you to be comfortable Bud. on the sidewalk, asshole. Do they show that moment where the... Uh, the guy had the radio control airplane at the stadium and flew it right into the crowd. Oh, oh shit. A whole bunch of horses <laughs> at a horse race just flew into a flock of birds. I know. 
Good. All right. Why don't we take a break? Man. Yeah. Because Randy hurts. Johnson's only number three. What are two that are better than that? <laughs> yeah, that one is fantastic. All right, the yeah. that one. I guess we do have to find out which is the number one now. Yeah, there's two more. Randy's three. Here's two. All right. What do we got? Bunch of there's birds. little baby. Uh, uh, oh, that d- was a golf thing. In a sand trap. Yeah, they walked across the green. How is that better than fucking? Because they couldn't get all over the. They lip. are very cute. It's a bird it's a moments, human. not bird. Death. Bird, bird deaths. deaths. <laughs> right. It but is the bird, bird deaths moments, are the best right. moments. I'd rather see that NASCAR one again. Look, they're trying to show him <laughs> off of the fucking uh, sand trap, and the mother duck is really upset. Yeah, he's trying to get them out of the sand trap, but the mother duck. Look at her running away. Get him out with whore. a wedge. Yeah. Wow, the mother duck flies wedge. over at them. There's number one. Uh, Steve Lowry. Steve Lowry. He got, oh, oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, a bird picked this thing up and fucking his... <laughs> he hit the green. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He had a nice fucking... <laughs> All right, he can't beat this. It drops it oh, in the water. He dropped it in the water. <laughs> fucking bird. Well, how does that play? Bird, the bird has had it. Dude, with how people, does that play? bird has had it with people hitting balls near how, his home. I wonder what the ruling is on that. The ruling. Let me think. So the ball's on the green. The ball's on the green. You hit the ball. He had a great shot. It lands on the green. A bird fucking went over, picked up his golf ball, flew over the lake, and dropped it in the fucking lake. Is Boris around? It stays where it landed, I'm sure. What? Nobody would allow a, a living creature to remove your ball. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. If, if, it, if it hits a fucking tree and bounces off the tree, it stays where it is. Because a tree will be there in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> if a tree reached down and kicked the ball, they'd probably redo it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, what is the ruling on that? The little ducklings were very cute as they were coming would, out. Oh, they were adorable. I wanted to pet them. I would I'm hit I, one. I'm going to go with Jimmy on that. Let's figure this out. I, I say that, yeah, they got to keep yeah. the ball. I in the say green. he's got to take a drop. Really? I say he's got to take a drop. That ball was in play. Whatever's on the fucking course, it's in bounds. It's fucking, you know, that's it's like, an obstacle. What if a spectator ran out and kicked it? Bird is basically seen as that. I don't know, spectator. It's a living creature. It's it's, it's like some, it picked the ball up and removed it. You can't do that. That's, that's like saying, what if a retarded kid came out? He's got the same brains as a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, is that real? It's, not. it's a duck with a bunch of little ducklings following it, oh, and the duck stupidly walked over a sewage grate. And uh, the duck can make it over because it's got big duck feet, but the little ducklings fell right in to the uh, little holes in the sewer grate. And then it just shows the mother duck looking down in there with nary a thing to do. It's not going to be able to lift that grate up with its little oh. bill. I wonder what happened. Sure they died. No, nah, they probably. Fucked. Jimmy wants to think it's fake. Aw. I do think it's fake because who the fuck would have that picture? That's Who true. would snap three amazing photos of ducks approaching a grill and then the mother looking back over at that fucking you're, photoshopped you're idiocy? Right. should have helped. Exactly. Shoot him away. Yeah. <laughs> Beat it. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's I don't know what the ruling is, but um, well, I'll have to say. I don't, I don't know if Boris has the hotline. Who's he's Boris? A, he's a golf guy that I fucking take lessons with. He's cool. Boris. Guy. He's B Golf on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, B E E. Boris? Golf. Is he His Russian? Name's Boris. I don't oh, know what the fuck. Terrible, I man. Had, I never. Oh, my name's Opie. You must kill the bird. That's a shitty fucking <laughs> name. So I'm not going to point out his shitty fucking name. Damn. I don't know what Curtis What's... is talking about. Probably lobsters and mobsters and things that rhyme. <laughs> if I have to look at one more goddamn river dance fucking session, enough already. Enough of this Irish step dancing on all the news channels. We get it. What an awful head that kid has. It's very tussleable, big yeah. fat head. That's a lot of hair. He has fucking hair like John Edwards. <laughs> I'm actually like JFK. Oh, <laughs> shit. Doesn't he have Kennedy hair? He does. Era. B- before it made that left. How does that kid not get molested? Oh, well. Jesus. <laughs> Uncle Paul. Uh, All right. Look at a bunch of little Irish kids just fucking dancing around. Fucking hate river dancing. No, look at there they go. It always looks the same. Yeah, they're just skipping. Bunch of stiff Irish people, their arms don't move. Yeah. How awful does that make Whitey look? (laughs) It really does. Just a bunch of dumb white people going in a circle with their legs moving. (laughs) Yeah. Arms not moving. That makes us look idiotic. We got info on the Randy Johnson thing. I did not know this. Go ahead, uh, Mike in Columbus, Ohio. Mike? 
gentlemen. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Ah, uh, and to you. Thank you. Randy Johnson got death threats by a bunch of pedo fucks <sighs> over that. How does he get death threats? He didn't know the fucking bird was coming when he was in his windup. He got death threats for not signing Jimmy's fucking autograph. That's We're right. Taking a picture. Bastard. His We're giant cock. Picture. His weak chin. His giant cock. <laughs> that Lank. big delicious appendage. Lanky fuck. Let's say hi to Sean and Charlotte. Sean. Hey, good morning, boys. Hey. There's a. I can't remember the freaking guy's name. A PGA golfer who's doing one of those instructional like golf digest, golf television type bullshit things. And, you know, they had all the camera crews and the writers and all that, and they were set up in the tee box, and there was this bird, like, squawking at him, and he, they kept yelling at him to shut up. So, you know, he took his iron and just drilled the ball and fucking killed it. And it turned out it was like a protected crane or something like that. He got a one in a million shot. This guy just drilled it in the head and killed it, and he got all kinds of shit for it, had to apologize. <laughs> how could, uh, how had, could golf ball hurt a crane? Great. I think he's it's lying. <laughs> Big and metal. It's a terrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> and he just hangs up. I've had it. Let's go to Drew in North Carolina. Drew. What's going on, fellas? Hey, man. Uh, I think uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think until the ball is officially marked on the green, it's still in play because, uh, I mean, if you think about it, when you watch golf tournaments on TV, you, you know, you see players hit their shots onto the green and they run up there, you know, make sure the ball doesn't roll back down the hill or something. So, uh, pretty sure you have to take, like, stroke penalty on that with the going no. on the water. No, there are, do look. I don't even watch golf. There are things in life which happen when wildlife removes the ball. I, it's fucking, it stopped and a bird picked it up and threw it and then t took it. Well, the answer's got to be online. This guy is saying he worked, uh, I get, what was that, the Greystone? That is, yeah, the Greystone Country Club in Birmingham. I've worked there in college. And Steve oh, I worked there. at Bushwood, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got yeah. on this? But um, he, he he did. They did have to take a drop. He did have to take a drop on that. What's that mean? That yeah. means he he had to. You lose a stroke. You lose a stroke, yeah, and you, you got to take the yeah. ball and you drop it kind of near the lake uh, area there. How the where... fuck does that work? What golf sucks? <laughs> <laughs> what a <laughs> dumb fucking sport. Any asshole that would tolerate a bird flying away with the fucking ball. What a dumb fucking sport. <laughs> <laughs> worthless. Utterly worthless. Oh, shit. If that's the case, before you teed off, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of money on uh, yeah. on the line at these golf tournaments. Wouldn't you want to take out all the birds? Oh, yeah. Get some marksmen out there. Like, Hell look, yeah. if the fucking birds are in play, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to increase my odds right Get now. I'm out of there. So I guess if a guy ran out and kicked it, what's the difference? Why is that different if a guy runs out and kicks it? Um... I don't think he knows better. The guy, I don't think the because people, the guy, yeah, because the not, guy knows it's not an egg. They're not indigenous <laughs> to the course, and then see, golf is a very natural thing. It's played on you know little hills and sand and water and. Do they play it in all like that? in all high wind? Would they play it in hurricane winds? Oh, have you seen some of the fucking games they played over in England? It's well, fucking right. pouring sideways rain, and they're still playing. All right, we, yeah, fuck yeah. We got a couple things coming in. Jordan in Scranton says, I uh, found an answer for the bird ruling. A ball moved by an outside agency may be replaced in the approximate spot no nearer the hole with no penalty. Outside but, agency. What is that? Bad news. It was from Yahoo Answers, so there's a chance it was sent by a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then Steve from Albany writes, uh, Google it, Google it. Under Rule 18-1, Lowry was allowed to replace the ball and return it to its original position on the green without penalty. But because the PGA Tour enforces the one-ball rule, Lowry could have been uh, DQ'd. Oh, because you got to use the same ball. But nothing happened to him. I guarantee nothing. He was allowed to place the ball where it landed. Why does this make you so angry, Jimmy? Because it, it will make me hate and lambast golf if they actually gave this guy a penalty. For a great shot? No, because a fucking bird <laughs> ate the ball. <laughs> well, he didn't eat it. He realized it wasn't something edible, and he dropped it into the uh, water. But, you know, I mean, it's funny to watch, but if that actually hurt a guy, is, you know, yeah. then, then it's just a shit sport because you play your whole life to... If you hit a tree, it's your fault. Anywhere you hit the ball is your fault. Mm -hmm. the trees are part of the course. Your fault. Mm -hmm. Bird, not your fault. That's the difference. All right. Well, you know, uh, that one play we saw where uh, in baseball where the, where the bird got hit, the ball was still in play. Yeah, what's that about? Because yeah. if, if the ball hits the umpire, the ball still in play as well.
Well, the, it hit the bird first, though. No, no, no. But I mean, if you if you if you line drive into the second base umpire, yeah, that ball is still in play. Yeah, that's not out of play. The only time it's out of play is if a fan touches it or if it goes out of bounds. People are, foul territory. people are picking up on your anger. Joe Coleman goes, Jimmy's mad at golf. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just mad that this is a debatable point. <laughs> well, technically, the fucking pelican picks it up. <laughs> How is this a debatable point? The fucking ball was eaten by a fucking creature. I told you it wasn't eaten. The bird realized it wasn't edible and thought, dropped it in the water. Thought it was its little egg. Right. Thought it was its little egg. And I wanted know. to bring the egg home. And Idiot bird. Realized what the fuck is this? This is useless <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, TMZ. Get... Harvey Levin's face makes me <laughs> sick. You're not a big Harvey Levin fan. No, I'm not. No. Contribute nothing. Vulture. Fuck. <laughs> Stand there with his Starbucks, just laughing good naturedly. <laughs> I swear. To, I hope he gets caught he with sips. his fucking mouth on the end of a glory hole outside of grammar school. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate that cunt. <laughs> contributes nothing. But he has a sippy straw when he yeah, drinks his Starbucks. Just, you know, yeah, he probably doesn't want his fucking sick L.A. teeth to get brown from drinking coffee. <laughs> fucking contribute nothing, prick. Vulture. Just a fucking <laughs> leech on entertainment. You really don't like that gentleman. Because he, he adds nothing. He adds nothing. Jimmy, what's going on with you today? You all right? That annoys me. He's uh, A lot Levin of things always, are annoying you today. Harvey Levin has always annoyed me, dude. I've always, we, we, we were fucking mm-hmm. horrible to him when he called in. Yeah. He's a cunt. Yeah. His whole idea is just to stick his camera in people. Let's see your personal life. Yeah. Does he marry? I don't know if he's married. Let me see photos of you fucking your wife. Or are you, are you, Is he straight? Uh, I don't yeah. know. Those entertainment, uh, uh, those entertainment uh, people. Uh, if he's not. A little, uh, 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 if he's not, uh, I hope uh, photos uh, of it surface. Uh, I think it's almost. Who wouldn't? I think it's almost like people. Just assume. If he's not, if he's gay, I think. I hope a picture sure. of a lot of cum on his face comes out. <laughs> oh, a lot of it. Just, but like you didn't like him. <laughs> really? <laughs> just the way he leans there. You're supposed to save that for the sweet boys. They're yeah. all laughing, having fun. <laughs> they are laughing at ruining people's fucking what, you lives. Don't, you don't think they're funny? You, I just can't wait. You don't until... think his crew is funny as they're all no. hanging around their cubicles, just hanging out? Man! Hey, no. Let me tell you. So what do you got? Well, well man! I was out on the streets the other day, and I saw, you know, a we, Ted dance. We got video of down. Lindsay Lohan picking her nose. <laughs> I can't wait till one of those guys is fucking killed <laughs> chasing uh seriously chasing a celebrity in a fucking car yeah. like on their motorcycle with their mopeds. I can't wait until one of them is fucking is delegged in an auto accident. <laughs> I really can't wait to, until one of them with their fucking cameras it, it just has some kind of a collision with a car and they live and uh their legs have to be removed due to mang- being mangled. <laughs> That's what I hope happens to them. Because they contribute nothing. Mm. Ah, Boris got back to me. Oh. Really? No penalty. You got an answer? He just replaces it. I know I have a fucked up name. I tried to call. That's Boris. So, Good old uh, B-Golf. I have Twitter. to tinkle. B-E-E. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. So, so it does uh, get... Uh... Yeah, let's get everyone to, to, to tweet B-Golf and tell him how awful his name is. You look at... <laughs> What's that? I don't know. I was just I saw, uh, secretly you... working the sex business on Maury. Oh, I was like, oh, you thought I was looking at the flooding on top? Well, it gives a shit. Jersey. Well, it is Have strange fun. when you see someone in a fucking uh, raft going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that I thought that was yeah a little different. Cool. So I want to get back into this Harvey Levin thing, though. I want to go. What happened to Kansas? Why did you leave Harvey Levin? Why did you leave? Him? I don't know. Why did you just leave? Him? Oh, you want me to read that? No, no. no. What? Nine. I, but we read stuff when Danny. No. Can I read that? No. Harvey Levin's a fucking vulture. Mm-hmm. He just all he is. He's a contribute nothing vulture. What about his staff? They're shit. They're all trying to make it in his Hollywood. Staff and young, they got, young they go got little scoops. Young go I, I hate anybody, dude. I hate anybody who's attached to show business, mm-hmm. who contributes nothing to it. Like I have no respect for that because they're not artists. They're shit. I guess we're not friends anymore. <laughs> That's not true. You're not attached to show business. <laughs> That's true. Okay. I could make a hell of a, a, a shit sculpture. Mm. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, it's not easy. I like playing with my duties. It's stink hands. Oh, it gets a little stinky, but you know, mm. you get that shit out of there. Mm. What do you want to do? Let's go to bed. Oh yeah, he's got. To you want to go over there? Actually, make some weewees. I have to piss. Yeah. I'm gonna go there first. Okay. I, I don't. I I can't leave because I I'm I'm going. That's that's the one that just scares me. What? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything. 
Okay. I got to go the other All way. Right, I'm going to go over there. I want to say hi. Okay. Uh, go take a break. But I'm going to go over there. That scares me. Close to it because, like, whoever hits the bird, like, sometimes it gets close, and you're like, oh, Yeah, you, you know. never hit it. And uh, I'm like, Man, I, I really think we're gonna hit this bird. <laughs> and then, sure enough, it was just, yeah. Damn, <laughs> I had to get out and, like, you know, make sure it wasn't like stuck to the grill. <laughs> we totally hit the bird, it was awesome. This thing left a uh, like powder on my windshield about five times the size of the bird, like, every bit of dust that was in his feathers. Just got knocked the fuck right Jesus. out of him and ended up on the windshield. No blood or anything. The thing was dead. You know, flew right. I don't over think the birds have a lot of blood. They don't. They. Uh, I had a seagull, a seagull, in my work van once. It hit right at the corner of my windshield. Fuck. And made such a thud, loud fucking noise. I had to be doing about seventy. It was way out east on the expressway, Is way a, the fuck out east. They always say it's almost impossible to hit a bird, though. Whoa, you you hear that your you. whole life. I this, was in a, I was in a yeah. van uh, with uh, Ziggy, actually, yeah. and uh, <laughs> we were driving in Manhattan, crossing town, and uh, some, like, four or five pigeons had been flying across the street, and uh, the last one that was, you know, kind of tagging behind a little bit, <laughs> as we're getting... Don't, please don't embarrass me. Oh, my God, it's going to be a great comedy show. Come see the show with Jimmy and Otto and George, Florentine and many others. 732-545-4242. Or Mally Stress Factory appearance this year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this one's great. Stress Factory, New Brunswick, oh, New Jersey. Oh, 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 the pitcher oh, oh, that fucking... Let me see. Uh, let me see. Oh, that thing is dead. That fucking bird. This happened a few times, right? Yeah. What? The Just killed him. Look at the pitch. Is like, oh man, what the fuck? The best part of that clip, we'll have to like tweet they kept it, it so play. people can see it today. Uh, it, look at play it again. The umpire loses his. Uh, I saw. I almost saw Kenny show some emotion when we hit a pigeon on the way home, and really? this thing fucking exploded. He could tell the story. I don't know if he's fucking here right came now. Came apart. But he almost like Tried showed some emotion. Laughs. Kenny, remember the pigeon? What happened? <laughs> Look at Kenny. It landed on him because I thought he was a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours later, he addressed it. You know, next Wednesday at the Stress Factory, Jimmy's ah, doing a show ah, with Adam and George. Really? And Florentine. Florentine. Our ticket sales good? We need to sell tickets, people, so. They seem to have a lot of no, blood. No, not a lot of blood in them, I guess. Yeah. They seem like they're really dehydrated. They yeah, little skinny bones oh, Look and at their stupid beak. How much water do you think you could drink? Yeah, they got to be light. Hydrated. They fly. Uh, <laughs> I hit a bird one time. It's actually, And Kenny hit yeah. a bird, I just remembered. And it, the damn thing... With his fist. You could drink. Yeah, they got to be light. Hydrated. They fly. Uh, <laughs> I hit a bird one time. It's actually, And Kenny hit yeah. a bird, I just remembered. And it, the damn thing... With his fist. Yeah. <laughs> was looking a, at him in a bar. Thought it was a black person. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it was a crow. <laughs> it 